In today's episode of the vlog, I'm going to be showing you how to eat Brazilian acai, a fruit from the Amazon from which the pulp is frozen into a dessert, which is now a popular food eaten around the world as a healthy superfood. And I'm also going to be showing you a controversial way to eat it which is frowned upon by some people. That's coming up later in today's episode. Thank you very much for joining in and do not forget to hit the thumbs up and subscribe if you haven't already. All right, now I am officially home in Brazil. This is Vitoria, my Espírito Santo. This is where it all started for me. This is where my love affair with Brazil started. And this is where I really, really discovered Brazil for the first time. And I'm out on the beach. It's glorious, but it's much hotter here than it was in the south and I knew it would be. And I woke up quite late today because of all the traveling last night. I was pretty tired, to be honest, when we arrived here and so I didn't film much last night when we got here at all and also this morning I've woken up late which means it's too hot to really go for a run so I'm out for a walk which is a bit of a compromise it's amazing, look at it this is Camburi the main beach here in Vitoria it was this beach here that brought me fishing here for the very first time I'll tell you that story probably in the next episode but right now I'm just soaking it in, being back home if you like, for the first time in two years. I mean, just look at these plants here. These are plants that you only find in a botanical garden greenhouse in Scotland, or dying in my house. I've never seen so many dragonflies in all my life. There's millions of them. Pretty sure they're not being captured on camera, but they're flying all around my head right now. Bizarre. One of the reasons I love it here on the beach, in the beach cities in Brazil, is people just live a healthier lifestyle. They eat healthier, and as you can see from the beach here and the images I've shown, people are exercising every day. And it's the place where I think I'll be able to exercise and get fitter and healthier and easier. Just through eating a bit better and being active every single day in the sunshine. You've even got these like makeshift, or not makeshift, they've got these kind of outdoor gym areas as well on the beach which are pretty amazing. Really, really good for people to exercise. But by Jesus, I wanted to swear there, but I didn't. It's flipping hot. It's only 10.30 in the morning. It should be well over 30 by now. Holy moly. I'm gonna get myself back indoors. First fresh coconut water on the beach here in Victoria since arriving back here. It tastes so so good and so refreshing. Oh my god, this is amazing! Like, you just don't get this anywhere else. This feeling, especially after you've been you know running or walking on the beach or whatever, and you're sweating and you're hot, the best way, the best, best way to get refreshed is with a fresh coconut, fresh coconut water. It's absolutely delicious. So, cheers. Slanjava, good health to you. And now that I'm done with drinking it, the nice man for the coconut stall cut it all up for me and now I'm going to eat it as well. How cool is that? Just the white, you only eat the white parts, the fleshy parts, obviously. The rest of it is just like a tree. Mmm. That was a taste of Brazil for me. Oh, jeez. Well, first observations, as you can probably tell from how much of a hot, sweaty and sticky mess that I am. It is a damn sight hotter here in Vitoria 
than it was in the south of Brazil. A damn set hotter and a damn set more humid. And so the running that I was doing there in the mornings is going to be a heck of a lot more of a challenge to do here. I'm going to have to wake up very early and not, not go outside and walk and run in the heat and sun. Even though it's still early in the morning, I need to go out very early here. Otherwise, I'm just not going to be able to do it. Um, but it feels good. We're back here. We're back home, if you like. Take us home. Back to the sunshine. I'm looking forward to the next few weeks here. It's going to be really good. Catching up with old friends, eating some good food. And we'll see what I'll get up to. But of course, be vlogging the whole experience right here on my YouTube channel. After that walk on the beach this morning, I got a pretty bad headache, which turned into a bit of a migraine. I took some strong painkillers and then I lay down in bed and fell asleep for a couple of hours after having lunch. Um, and I woke up feeling a lot better. It has been extremely hot here all day, which is what it's generally like in this part of Brazil. Um, we are in midsummer, so this is the hottest time of the year. But still, even though I've been in Brazil already for two weeks in the south, it was much cooler there. And it's been a bit of a temperature shock to come here. Even though I've stayed in Vitoria many times in January, you know, I've really struggled this time. And you might hear a bit of a weird noise right now because there's a, a big fan on down there. But anyway, we're going to go out and go for a walk again tonight because uh, the wind is blowing outside and hopefully that'll help us cool down by the beach. It is literally the only way sometimes to get cool. We don't have air conditioning throughout this apartment. This apartment, by the way, is tech has, um original apartment here in Victoria where we used to live. We actually lived here for the first, for a couple of years on and off. Um, and that's actually where I started my vlogging journey where I made my first ever videos was in this apartment. Um, I'll make a whole video all about that whole thing, that chapter in my life. Um, but needless to say, we live in Edinburgh now in our own apartment and it's really great. Um, and we've actually only got a couple of weeks now. The clock is ticking before we have to go back, back home. Um, which is exciting in some ways, but also sad. So I want to try and soak up every last minute while we're here in Brazil because I just love it. We've got a lot of great friends here, uh, all the great food, the beach, all the rest of it. Um, and so, you know, spend as much time as we can enjoying ourselves. Um, and we're going to go out to the beaches now and get some fresh air. The struggle is real to try and keep cool here in tropical Brazil right now, in mid-January, in the middle of summer. Alright, back on the beach tonight, again for another walk, it is absolutely transformed. See the sun's just sitting there behind me, it's absolutely beautiful tonight. Right there where that light is on top of that hill is the Convento, which is the most iconic building here in Vitoria, probably all of Spirit Santo State to be honest. A major tourist attraction. The beach tonight is much better, it's cooler, there's a really really nice breeze coming off the beach. I feel better. Me and Tech are out for a walk and a bit of a drink of coconut water. Also what's transformed is the beach is absolutely alive tonight with people out exercising. This is the time, you know, six, seven o'clock at night, people come out. People come out running, cycling, rollerblading. What else do people do here? <laughs> Exercise. All sorts. In group as well. Walking as well. We're just walking. We're still getting used to this. It's a shame I can't show you volleyball. volleyball. There's a lot of volleyball pitches on the beach. Wow. They've been made since the last time we were here. They've made lots of volleyball pitches and people just come and play, which is pretty cool. Uh, it's a shame I can't zoom in any better to show you the Convento in a better way because it is beautiful. But um, this time of night, this is my favorite thing to do. You know, six o'clock when it gets dark is to come out here onto the beach and go for a walk and see all the people walking around and just enjoy the fresh air cool down a bit. What a noise. I'm not sure if the camera picks it up. I absolutely love that noise. Tekka hates it. She hates it. I love it. It's the noise of 
the tropics for me. I think it's cicadas. Is it cicadas? This time of night, when the sun goes down, they all come out every single night and they go berserk. It's like a cacophony of musical symphony to my ears. I love it. I could sit and listen to that all night. Maybe I'm a weirdo. But I really, really enjoy that sound. Tekka gets goosebumps in her arms when she hears sounds like that. Bug sounds. <laughs> bugs. All bugs. <laughs> all bugs. <laughs> Cool about that is that guy there is not even busking, he's just playing for the love of the music. He loves it, he comes out here and he plays his saxophone. It's always all about the music, good vibes. This is acai bowl, which has got bananas on top, and it's got granola on the side. Here, this is like baby milk powder, Nino, which it's not acceptable to eat anywhere else in the world apart from Brazil, as an adult. For some people, it's not acceptable here either. <laughs> <laughs> but you love it. And then honey. Absolutely love, love, love this stuff. It's amazing. So this is the acai bowl. Acai is like a fruit from the Amazon. But they put a lot of sugar in it to make it sweeter. There's bananas on top, granola down there. And then this here, this is weird. All right, this is weird. This is called Nino, which is basically baby milk powder. And what I love about Brazil is here, it's probably one of the only places in the world where it is kind of acceptable for an adult to eat this. And it goes really well with acai, in my opinion. Teca maybe doesn't agree. There's also a wee pot of honey as well. Let's get stuck in. It's also frozen, so it's like it's almost like eating ice cream. This here is like frozen solid, so they, they freeze the pulp. Mm. It's so sweet and delicious. Love it. Wow, it's so cold, but I hurt my hand. Mm. Now we have everything mixed together. It's really good. You know what? I think we're eating baby milk powder. It gives you some kind of primordial memory of when you were a kid. Say that, that is disgusting. <laughs> cool. Guys, I'm so, so happy right now. Here in Brazil, just eating everything. Mm. You can buy acai, acai. You can buy acai in London, all across Europe and America now. It's starting to get more popular as a health food. I'm not sure it's quite as healthy when I put all this stuff on it, especially baby milk powder. But if you get a chance to eat it, if you see it anywhere, just have it. You will not regret it. And in Norfolk, Brazil, where this stuff is actually from, where the fruit is from, they can Amazon stuff. They eat it differently than they eat it here. They eat it up there like with salty food, like with fish. You can eat acai with fish, which is kind of weird, but it's without sugar. 